Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this sales funnel software tutorial, you're gonna learn exactly how to set up a sales funnel for free using 100% free software. And this is great because if you're just getting started and you're on a tight budget, or if you're just kind of experimenting with this whole online digital marketing, build a business from scratch thing, using free software is a great way to kind of get your feet wet and quickly get your sales funnel up and running so you can begin to really focus on zeroing in on your target audience and your message. So let's go ahead, dive in. Step number one is your actual page builder. And your page builder is actually gonna be Google Sites. So Google actually offers, even if you don't have a business apps account, the ability to create pages. So what you're gonna do is you're actually going to set up a new site for each one of the steps in this four-step sales funnel. And that is because you don't want the navigation bar at the top. So just a quick FYI before you go and play with Google Sites and then come back to this video and say, hey, I can't get rid of the navigation bar. The navigation bar is not gonna go away. So the first step is creating your landing page. Now, Google Sites is very basic, but that's okay because the first part is you just want to collect leads. Now, in addition to the page builder, you're gonna need a piece of software to collect your emails so you can send messages. Now, the good news is MailChimp offers a free tier for up to 2,000 subscribers and a few hundred emails a month. So it's gonna be very, very hard to hit that when you're just getting started. So you can go ahead, set up a free MailChimp account, and then inside your MailChimp account, before we dive into how to build a page on Google Sites, you're going to go ahead and set up a new list. There are plenty of tutorials inside of MailChimp on how to do that. And once you have a list, you're going to go to your list, you're going to click on that little down arrow, and you're going to select form code. And once you go to the form code, you're going to select embed code. And here is where you're gonna design your form. So this is your form. You're probably gonna collect their name and email on your Google Sites landing page. And so you can go ahead and set up that form, give it a nice little title, choose what fields are required, what fields you want to be shown, and then you're gonna copy that form code and go over to Google Sites. So at this point, you have a blank Google Sites page and you're ready to start building everything you need. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and choose a theme. I chose one of the basic themes here because really you just want your headline at the top. So whatever your headline is, describing the offer, the reason someone should enter their name and email. And then on the left-hand side, this is something that's pretty unique to this style of sales funnel. Because you're using free software and you don't have a lot of flexibility when it comes to design, I suggest using something like Canva or PowerPoint to create an image that represents the offer that people are gonna get when they enter their name and email. So you can see here on the left, I have an image that was made in Canva. I also have a replicate image of this made in PowerPoint. So either one of those, there's links in the description to how to use Canva. It's another free tool. And then on the right-hand side, we have a couple of bullet points explaining why they should opt in and then the embed code from MailChimp. Now what's great about this is you can set this page up in about 10 minutes without really playing with a whole lot of code. To embed this MailChimp code onto your site, you're gonna go to the right-hand side and go ahead and click on embed code. And then when that little box pops up, you're gonna click the second option so you can drop the entire embed code in there. You don't wanna just put in a URL like Google Sites offers you at first. And then you can go ahead and click publish and you have your landing page. Now, if you go inside of MailChimp, they'll offer you the ability to create a landing page. So if you only wanna collect emails, emails and you don't have a upsell offer or you don't have you don't want people to immediately get access then to whatever they're opting in for, then you can go ahead and use the free landing page builder inside of MailChimp and skip the Google Sites in this step. However, if you wanna do anything else other than just have a little message pop up that says, hey, you're opted in, then you wanna use Google Sites like we just talked about, which is why I don't really recommend using the MailChimp landing page software yet, but it recently launched, so I think it's gonna give Google Sites a run for its money as they improve it. So now you have your landing page, you're collecting leads, the next step is your sales page. And this is where you decide what you want people to do next once they've opted into your list. So you have a couple options on the sales page. Number one, you could just have a video sales letter talking about something that they should purchase. This will be anywhere from a seven to $47 product, and you might get some bites. We'll talk about how to receive payments for that in the next step. 
Or if you're doing coaching or consulting, this is a great place to have a calendar link where you have a little video and you say, hey, book a free session with me. And then you can have a link to either your Google Calendar for apps where you have appointments, but I can hear you talking already. If you don't have that, that's $5 a month, then you can go ahead and go to booklikeaboss.com and they have a free tier where you'll be able to set up appointments. And finally, if you don't have a one-time upsell offer or you don't want to be booking appointments, you can use a Google form to create a form to essentially apply for as an application to have a consultation with you if you don't want to have the consultation link right there. Or you can also have that for new clients or someone you want to pre-qualify before you spend any more time on that particular lead. So that's kind of what you can do with this. I'm going to assume that you're doing an information product style sales funnel. So you're going to have a video sales letter. You can embed it with Vimeo or YouTube. I recommend Vimeo just because you have a little bit more control and you can look up some custom code stuff if you want to have the video autoplay right out of the gate. So that means when the page loads, the video automatically starts playing. And so that does it for your second page. Now your third step, if you're looking to have an immediate upsell or an immediate call to action to pay you, there's two ways you can do this. Number one, you can go to Wave Accounting. Now they're in beta right now, but within the next month or so, they're going to have a tier where you're gonna be able to for free accept credit card information through their system. Now, until that's available, what you can do right now is use PayPal. So PayPal, you set up your PayPal account and you can have something called a PayPal link. And so this isn't ideal. Again, we're duct tape sales funneling here and you'll be able to set up your download or buy now button to essentially go directly to your PayPal me link. And something that a lot of people don't know is you can have your PayPal link and then slash and a number and that number, it will automatically pull out a checkout form for them to pay that amount. So like, let's say your video sales letter offers something for $10. Well, you can have your PayPal link slash 10. Then when they click on the download now link or the link below your download now or purchase button, I suggest you have both because upwards of 30% of the people will actually click on that lower link even though you have a purchase button up top. And so both of those go to that PayPal link and slash whatever the price is. And then when that checkout pops up, it's automatically going to have the correct amount in there. They can go ahead and fill that out and then you will receive a notification that you got paid and then it's up to you to deliver the content to them. The downside of using all this free software is there's not really an automated process to automatically have things delivered straight to them as soon as they pay using this particular system. And speaking of delivery, that's step number four, and that is delivering the content and the downloads that they've essentially been promised. So if you're just doing a lead generation sales funnel, so you had your landing page and then you didn't really have any other action that you wanted them to take, what we just talked about, what you can go ahead and do is directly link them to the downloads page. And so this is another site you'll set up on Google Sites, and this is simply where you will just deliver the content that was promised either in your video sales letter or was promised on your landing page. And that's all it takes to put together this 100% free duct tape sales funnel. Now, in the description, I do have links to some other playlists comparing some paid solutions for sales funnel software. So once you're done playing with this, I definitely do not recommend using this to drive any sort of paid traffic to or rely on for any sort of significant amount of sales. This is literally just, if you are on a super tight budget and you wanna get started, this is a great way to get up and running in an afternoon and if you are still trying to decide what software to purchase, this is another great way to just have something up and have get the ball rolling because done is better than perfect when you're getting your business off the ground. So I hope you got some value out of this video. We went kind of fast. There is a table of description in the contents if you wanna go back through each step. Make sure you check out the links to the Sales Funnel software reviews and comment below if you have any questions on this free sales funnel. And as always, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.